Hey everybody. Hey everybody. I'm going to try to put this video together. I've got a ton of video clips over the last couple months. It is a mishmash. It's going to be a little disjointed. I'm going to try to put a video together here about a lot of stuff. First of all, I'm going to kind of work my way backwards. Yesterday, we went out on a sale. What's up? Hi guys. <laughs> we are actually sailing again. It's a Saturday. We're gonna sail around, uh, what is that, north I guess? North. North on the river. I'm gonna hop in the water. I brought uh, a scuba tank, uh, dive gear. I'm gonna hop in the water and check the bottom. Pretty sure we got some barnacles. Yeah, she's been in the water six months and we haven't done anything to it, so there might be some stuff to get off of there. Did I talk about the yak already? No. Oh, brought the yak. Uh, Maris Mirage is gonna paddle around and do some scrubbing on the sides while I'm down below. And uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy this little sail around the corner and uh, we'll see you in a bit. I'm about to uh, do a little dive. Uh, Miss Mirage, who is over here <laughs> doing the side already, uh, tells me that the situation is grim. Um, apparently, there are. What, what is it, babe? Very grim. Very grim. Very grim. Apparently, there's quite a few barnacles. I got to get in the water. So, yeah, lots of barnacles. Um, no wonder the boat was so slow. Just so you know, we didn't do anything after it had sat on the hard for a couple of years. And I have been told that bottom paint does not uh, like that. Hard bottom paint doesn't, doesn't like that. And apparently it's true. Because it's really barnacled up and I, I've never had that much problem here with, with good bottom paint. So I'm gonna go back out there and finish. and film at the same time. Gotta go back to work. Alright. Go back at it. And we're back again. <laughs> uh, so I gotta call that about 80 to 90 percent successful. Uh, I couldn't actually get all the barnacles. My I started getting a cramp in my left ankle really bad. Miss Mirage did a good job scrubbing off some of the hole, though I will say that. Nice Yay. job, babe. <laughs> um, but I got the prop really well, so at least we'll be able to motor back. Um, got some uh, thunderstorm starting to crop up. Another storm. Another storm, but uh, the anchor's holding really well. You know, the rock definitely, we're not going anywhere. We're going to see what that one's going to do before we actually take off back to the marina might have some lunch I'm really hungry yeah uh, well we're gonna probably get underway here in a few after we eat something and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up uh. yeah lucky me I get to be inside but okay that went pretty well we went out there to do some diving of course scrub the bottom I knew the barnacles were bad um, because of a solo sale I got to do the week before. Good morning. Uh, it's a lovely Friday morning. I don't have to work. Um, beautiful blue skies up there today. Check this out. Got the cooler. She's running. Had it running at the house for a couple days. Everything's looking good there. Um, pretty happy with that. Got it stocked up a little bit here. The boat is a little bit messy, okay? We've got to get a little bit of cleanup here and straightening up. The batteries are in. 
the two golf cart batteries back over in here and the original trays for the group 24s so there's 230 amp hours of power there i've got a group 27 that i mounted back up over here on a shelf in the starboard locker back there um so all together we've got 300 amp hours of power i've got a couple things to do i want to move this meter I'm going to put it here uh, because that's not being used anyhow. And I've got to put in another 12 volt outlet for the cooler. And I'm going to do that back in the spot where the meter was. And then we're going to straighten up and then we're going to leave the slip. And I'm going to film that with the GoPro because it's going to be solo. Solo with the GoPro. Uh, so we'll see how that turns out. So the water tank got done and of course the solo sale pointed out the fact that I didn't quite have <laughs> as good a taste in there as I would like. Um, Tap water is not as tasty as I expected it to be. <laughs> it wasn't as good as that first day. I guess sitting around in the tank in the hoses it has picked up some plasticky stuff as I have used this filter. Just kind of holding it on here and getting it to dribble out enough to where I could fill up the few water bottles that I brought. And I'm about to taste one of them and see what it's like. Let's see if it's going to work. It's drinkable. Okay. <laughs> and I, I think I might save one beer just to flavor the water a little bit, you know, on each bottle. Because I'll need something tomorrow on the way back to the dock and in the morning. I don't have anything else, so. It's not horrible. I, it's drinkable. A lot of little things came together on that project. And the day before we actually got out there to sail, a Friday... I actually finished that whole thing up and got a couple of fans mounted. I did get the Rockna out on the bow. We used that while we anchored yesterday to do the bottom cleaning. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Wasp trying to come in. Speaking of expenses, I really haven't given a, a good breakdown of costs lately. I'm going to try to edit it up and run through a bunch of that stuff. So possibly right here you might see a list of a lot of little things. I can do the, what was the Wayne's World thing? And there should be a list of stuff going by. So. We're staying in our budget, um, but only because I have just been getting so much side work. But I really, you know, started this with the intent of putting out real world numbers. And I really want to try to track down that number. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So I hope that'll bring everything up to date. Hopefully I can get this wrapped up reasonably well in a video. Um, we've got one kind of fun exciting to us piece of news having to do with the boat name you know we still haven't ever got around to that um, but I'm trying to pull that all together because we've got just such a cool graphic that my daughter did for us that's gonna just ah we're so excited about it we're just really excited about it and it's gonna be cool and I want to I want to bring that all together and actually it's cool enough that we're gonna have t-shirts uh, I don't know if anybody else is going to want a t-shirt, but we're going to have t-shirts because it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so anyways, that's it for this one. Old man's out. Thanks a lot for watching.